Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about Donald Glover again. Two weeks ago his This Is America music video was sweeping the nation, taking over the internet nearly overnight. And now, this week, the much anticipated Star Wars spin-off movie Solo is coming out, which of course co-stars Glover as a young Lando Calrissian. And well, since the actual star playing Han Solo is a bit of a nobody, who also appears to be lacking in the acting department, well, it seems like Donald Glover is getting more attention right now about this movie. And that's okay. Dong Lover is a very talented guy who deserves all the praise he can get, but not all the attention he's been getting the past couple of weeks has been positive. One particular story that caught my eye was people going after Donald's personal life, namely attacking him for having two kids with his longtime girlfriend, who's a white woman. Uh-oh. This is a bit ironic, you have to admit, with Glover being such a big pro-black guy lately, especially with his new hit TV show Atlanta, focusing on the black experience, and even more so with his This Is America video, which again focused on black Americans, racism, guns, and violence, and all kinds of other themes. So seeing Glover has two kids with his longtime girlfriend who's white is kind of funny, but I would never hold it against him or anything. I of course don't care who people date or marry or anything like that, but if you've been paying attention to American news and politics, there sure are a lot of people out there who do care. Just a few months ago we went over a story here about how an actor from the Black Panther movie was facing backlash for not dating black women. And now, well, we've got the same kind of shit storm coming up around Donald Glover. Dating outside of your race will often get you chastised by your community if you're black, especially if you're dating a white person. It's unfortunate, unfair, and pretty racist, but that's just the world we're living in now. So let's start off with a post I found on Facebook, made by the page called All Black Everything. It reads, Before everyone starts talking about how great of an artist Childish Gambino is and how woke he is, remember this. And then there's a picture of his family walking down the street, a picture which a normal person might not even think twice about. You might not even know what this poster's point is, but of course, we all know the racial undertones at play here. This pic is supposed to be a got ya moment because his partner is a white girl and that's considered taboo by some black people and they call us the racist. Give me a fucking break. I say let the guy date and fuck and marry whoever he wants. And of course, this should not affect how great of an artist Glover is. Not like how the text in this post suggests. The only slight point they might have is the wokeness factor, especially since Donald has been getting more and more pro-black as of late. Like I said before, that could be seen as a bit ironic or even hypocritical, but even I'm willing to give him a pass on that too. Maybe it's because I like his work so much, or maybe it's because he's really not that overly pro-black or political. He's not that heavy-handed with it. But either way, Donald Glover basically didn't do nothing here in my opinion. The people attacking him for dating a white woman are the real assholes here, not DG. Since when did racial segregation become woke anyway? America has gone from the 1950s, when interracial marriages were illegal and highly frowned upon, then after some hard work and breaking down of racist laws and ideas and stereotypes, by the 1990s, interracial couples were finally good and okay. Yay. But now, just 18 years after that, we're back to anti-race mixing again. Man, it's been a weird couple of decades, huh? Now the generation that fought to end racism is seeing its children become polarized and perpetuating it. Next, let's take a look at a video on this topic from The Root. It's called White Wives Matter regarding Donald Glover, judge of characters. This should be good. Check this out. All your faves are problematic and married to white women. Welcome to Judge of Characters, where white wives are plenty. Looks like we got an oversized Francesca Ramsey wannabe here. Or maybe this lady ate Franny and stole her cringy racist comedy powers. Folks think they caught Donald Glover slipping up after finding pics of his white baby mama that he never seems to share himself. So you saying a black man with a white wife is slipping up? No, but it's definitely an interesting trend on the rise. Yeah, he's probably not sharing pics because he knows people will attack him for it. Makes sense since that's exactly what's happening to him now. So even though you try and frame him up as hiding his white wife, I would say, yeah, maybe, but he has good reason to do it. In fact, I'm cool with any celebrity keeping anything personal or private, whatever they want. Most of the time, I just don't care who's dating who or voting for who or anything like that. I just want to watch their videos, their movies, and their TV shows. Among newlyweds, black men are more than twice as likely as black women to marry someone outside of their own race. I mean, look at all these successful black men who make iconic black art while eating Karen's raisin lace potato salad. Jordan Peele. Was get out about you? 
that's pretty rich right there. When you consider some of these guys do make overtly black art, I will again admit, it is rather funny to see them shacking up with white women in their off time. I won't get into all these couples here, but Jordan Peele is worthy of a mention, especially since I would say he's more into black art than even Donald is. I always felt like Glover made it just because he was black, by happenstance. It was more natural and about his experience. Jordan Peele, on the other hand, well, he's been more heavy-handed with it, particularly in his Oscar-winning movie, Get Out, which was basically about racist white people brainwashing black people into being their servants, or dare I say, slaves, because I'm sure many others would say that. And Get Out was a good movie, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't say I was offended or against it at all. It was actually a rather funny, well done horror picture, but that doesn't make it any less ironic that Jordan Peele is trying to play up being a black artist making this high profile black art, starring black people as well, while at the same time, Peele's wife is a white Jewish woman, and his mother is white too. He's a half black guy surrounded by white women, and that's pretty funny, you gotta admit. I mean, this guy is being praised over and over again for being the first black writer to win the screenplay Oscar, even though he's half black, raised by whites, married to whites, and having majority white kids. Yes, I realize that black women also marry white. That's not what we're here to talk about. Plus, y'all think black women marry white because black men don't want them. Cocky much? I think you're jelly much. This line was a clear self-defense tactic. She thinks by addressing this elephant in the room, she can dismiss it as inaccurate. And no, I don't mean her. She's not the elephant. Her and other blacks not being as desirable relationship partners, that's the thing no one wants to address here. That's the true elephant in the room. And, well, it may be a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it, I guess. Without getting too far into relationships and compatibility issues, first let's just talk about looks. What is beautiful? What do men and women find attractive? In general, it's a slim build, sometimes muscular, with a kind, welcoming face. Hair, eyes, and smile all come into play as well. And then there's bodies, asses, legs, and so on. And I know I'm generalizing a lot here, but just stay with me. Overall, some races and peoples from certain areas or countries, they can be more attractive there on average. And some aren't. Of course, it's not all. It's more of an average kind of thing. There will always be outliers, like really hot people can occasionally come out of groups that are generally lower in attractiveness on average. And then, of course, there can be really ugly people that come out of hotter groups, and so on. But basically, there's certain certain features and traits people all find attractive. Nice tits or an ass for guys. That's what we like. Or girls, they like a strong chin or muscles. Not everyone has the same taste, of course, and things will vary depending on where you are, but in general, in the Western culture, there is a type. You can also think about it by looking at modeling. There's a reason why so many models come from white countries like Sweden or Norway. The Norwegian look is considered to be one of the hottest. Great looking people over there. Another good example would be Brazil, who is often associated with having sexy women. And you could go on, France is known for having hotties too, and sometimes Russians. But overall, very few of these types come out of Africa, unfortunately. African Americans sometimes, but they're not exactly dominating the modeling industry, you have to admit. And it's not because of racism or hate or anything bad like that. People just like what they like. And the magazine companies and advertisers and movie makers and casting directors, they spent generations gauging what's popular and what people like. So I think they have a pretty good idea. Anyway, let's not get too sidetracked by all this look stuff and attractiveness. I think you guys get the point, so let's turn back to the root video. I'll also, before y'all even go there, I, Judge Danielle, am not big mad over Donald's or anyone's white wife or baby mama, but some people are. Let's look at the tweets. Wait, Childish Gambino has a white wife and two kids? Can't take him serious. You know what white people are doing to black people and you showed it in This Is America, but then you have a white wife? This isn't an unpopular opinion. I love how this host is pretending she's not hating on Glover for his white girlfriend. You are, lady. Either own it or don't acknowledge it at all. We're not buying this act you're putting on. You playing coy here is bullcrap. You and this person on Twitter have a problem with famous black people dating outside the race. So let's not pretend otherwise. Even if it's not you specifically, you just said this wasn't an unpopular opinion, which is a weird way to phrase things, by the way. Why don't you just say it is a popular opinion and stop trying to play word games with your racism. It's not really helping. It just makes this whole video look even more sketchy and, quite frankly, it makes you look worse. Also, what the hell are white people doing to black people in America? The tweet behind her implies we're out in the streets enslaving or lynching blacks again. Get out of here with that crap. Racism was virtually dead by the 1990s, but now, you do have to admit, racism is coming back into fashion. But it's not whites being anti-black. It's quite the opposite, actually. Sometimes our black men are not black enough for the black woman. So that's why our black men date out their race. 
sir, goodbye. That's not really much of a response to that guy's tweet. He said black men are forced to date outside their race because black women think they're not black enough. And I think that sounds about right since we're already watching a video with a black woman complaining about what skin color people's partners are. So it's not much of a leap to say they would complain about it in another way. And that's probably why this chick just tries to brush it off real quick. Not much she can really say to defend herself here anyway, so I guess we should just move on. I can look at one more tweet, but let's make it positive. Imagine thinking that Childish Gambino is obligated to date inside of his race in order to speak out against current issues going on in America today. If you have an issue with his wife being white, then you are a part of the problem. That is a positive tweet. Not Tatiana is exactly right. I agree. The people who take issue with Dong Lover's white wife, they're the ones who have a problem. And despite trying to weasel out of it, this chick who's hosting the video and The Root, they're highly guilty of this as well. People try to paint black women as angry when black men don't date or marry black women. Even Donald Glover has made that statement through his art. Look at this clip of Atlanta, where a black woman expresses her anger over a white woman being with a successful black man. I'm glad they brought this clip up. It is from Atlanta and it is kind of what Donald Glover thinks about things. So let's check it out too. Is there a problem? Not really. Saddled over there with your black man accessory and I'm just tired of that story, to be honest. Well, I think it's pretty clear this black girl is being a little sensitive and offensive to that white girl. I'm not sure the context of this whole episode, but I will say the black chick looks scary mad about things. So I think Donald Glover has trying to criticize that. Many of us are not angry like this but there are some feelings. One, some of us feel that we are being blatantly rejected. Well, I hate to say it again, but I could see why this chick feels rejected, but I don't think she's ugly and gross because she's black. I think she just likes to blame racism for things because it's easier for her, much easier than facing the actual truth. And two, there are many cases where you see that Kanye West was a prophet because take it away easy. When you get on, he leave your for a white girl. Some men like Kanye treat marrying a white woman like it's a prize or something to aspire to. Well, depending on the girl, if she's hot and sexy and cool, she could be a prize. But I'm not really sure race matters here either. This is just the opposite of what you were doing before. First she says she's getting rejected because she's black, when it's really because, mm, you know. And now she's saying hot chicks are being cherished and wanted as prizes because they're white, when it's really because they're hot and sexy and hopefully cool and fun to be around. But basically everything is because of racism to this chick, the host and The Root too, probably. The Root's very own Michael Harriet puts it like this. What's up, Danielle? The reason the Kanye West line is so memorable is because we've all seen it happen. The idea that white women are a graduation present or a lifetime achievement award for black men is an accepted trope among black people. If you say so. I mean, I can't tell these people they're wrong if that is a trope among them, but I can't break it down and try and clarify things. You see, the reason white women have become this trope for them isn't because of racism or foul play or anything nefarious at all. It's because white women have built up their reputation among black communities. And after years and generations of living side by side in America, black men have decided they like white women. That's their own personal choice too. No one's forcing anyone here into anything. Thing. This is basically just natural selection at play, but the root, the people there, and their host, they're pretty butthurt about it, so they're calling this situation racist and offensive, but it's really not. Preach, Michael, because at the end of the day, love is love, and we can love who we want. Even if their ancestors owned yours? You don't have to be married to a black woman to make fine art. I mean, it would be cute though. Even if their ancestors enslaved ours, I know it's a joke, but racism and slavery are just always on this girl's mind apparently. And if you break it down, it's just pretty pathetic to think about. This girl was never enslaved. Her parents or grandparents or great grandparents never picked cotton. The only reason she even knows about the American slave trade of the 17 and 1800s is because of history books, but still, she can't cope with it. It's been hundreds of years and she won't get over it. The idea that her people were slaves in the past shakes her up so much, she's attacking white people in the present for it. Pretty weak and fucked up if you ask me, and completely unnecessary. Let it be known that this issue is bigger than Donald Glover or Kanye West. I send it to black men to look internally and ask themselves why so many artists who push the envelope of black creativity are married to white women. Is it because black men have been forced to base their achievements off of what white men have or what they deem successful? Not saying just saying. No, you idiot. It's not that at all. What the fuck? Black men bang white women because they're hot. End of story. Stop trying to make this about oppression, racism, the white man, or slavery or some shit. White women are hot, and they let black men fuck them sometimes. That's it. Now, I know that sounds simple, but it's really hard for black women like this host to handle this shit. I mean, this girl is still getting over slavery. Don't forget that. Something she learned about in school and never experienced. That's still tearing her apart, so it's no wonder why she can't even fathom coping with her unlikability. There's something there 
are worth exploring, but it shouldn't be up to me as a black woman to call this trend into question. Yeah, because it makes you look like a hater. And you are. I swear, every time that little version of her pops up, it's to say something she really wants to say herself, and she's pretending it's all a joke. But you're not getting that one by me, lady, and you're not gonna try and pull this trick twice, either. Just because you're acknowledging that you sound like a hater, doesn't mean it's not also true. It is, and you need to get over it. In the end, Donald Glover is a saint, who didn't do anything wrong. He's a didn't do. Sure, he shacked up and had kids with a white woman, but there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm pretty sure he didn't do it because he's racist or something. Donald Glover did it because he was attracted to a white woman, and in love with her, and he knew she would make a great mother for his kids. So these other people attacking him for not dating within his race, they're the ones who have a real problem here. And even though this lady on the route pretends she doesn't care, she does. And that's why they made this whole bullshit video about it, which of course is almost completely wrong. What do you guys think about today's story? Should Glover be facing this backlash? Is it wrong to date outside your race? And will this lady at the route ever come to her senses? Comment your thoughts on everything below, and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time.